that time of the month, everyone. You know what it is. We've got that Obelisk Blue Astros Road UK subscription box. Let's go ahead and crack into that today. What's up, Breaker Army? You know what it is. We've got that Obelisk Blue subscription box coming at you. Cannot wait. Always so excited to open up that box that we get from him. My good dude across the pond. Again, this is Astros Road UK. Ooh, yeah. You guys have seen a few of these videos opened up already on the channel. I'm going to continue to subscribe to him, continue to support him just because he shows the support right back to me. So appreciate you as always, my good friend Astros Road. So this is that box we have here. It is still sealed up. So I just want to continue announcing some of the support that we get from him and how it kind of goes back. So if you guys don't know, if you reach out to him and mention my name, you get some free stuff. Of course, I get some free stuff too. <laughs> kind of give and take situation, but it's all in good faith and good love. Um, just showing support to the community. Um, Astros World loves to return the favor to everyone. So be sure to go check out the box. Mention I sent you, get some free stuff and we can all have some fun. Anywho, let's go ahead and crack into that box. Um, it's all wrapped up here. So what I'm gonna do is open this, show you guys what the box looks like, and I will be right back. All right, we've got the packaging taken off. We're gonna take a peek at these real quick so you guys can see we've got the obelisk blue there and all of our packs are hand wrapped by him himself. The you know craftsmanship, the care, the customer service that goes into these is truly above none, none else, or truly um, above everyone else, I should say. Sorry about that. Um, I just, you know, I love this, love cracking into these packs. It's kind of like you get a double opening by opening up these wrappers. Um, and apparently there is a bonus pack inside one of these. I don't know if mine has one, but we're gonna find out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the wrapper off all these packs and get cracking into it and see what we got for today. I'll be right back. All right, so we've got all of our packs taken out. It doesn't look like we got that hidden bonus pack. He does do that randomly on these boxes, so it's never guaranteed, but it's always cool to chase those random bonus items that get thrown in. However, we do have some epic packs. Guys, cannot wait to show you this. Cannot wait to crack into it and see what we pull. So we've got a King's Court pack, Ancient Guardians, Phantom Rage, a 2021 10 of Ancient Battles Mega Pack, First Edition Soul Fusion, First Edition Code of the Duelist, Dark Neo Storm, Fist of the Gadgets, uh, Battle Pack 3 Monster League, Order of Chaos, Circuit Break, and a Secrets of Eternity. I believe you can get a, uh, shoot, oh, it's Infinite Impermanence. I think that's what nope. that's when, that's the pack that's in there. Could be wrong, maybe, <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and crack into this, get started, see what we can get. And um, wow, I just, you know, it's just, it's that time of the month. I, I don't really know what to say. Um, Master's World, you, I've been subscribing to your boxes for a good minute now, and um, it's just been a lot of fun. Um, so King's Court, the big hitter is there towards the end. We've got a Rose Princess. So King's Court has not been that good to me. <laughs> Maybe Ancient, Gar Ancient Guardians can be a little bit better. We'll find out today. I haven't opened up that much of Ancient Guardians. Uh, it just wasn't really like a highly sought after set. Um, and it just didn't really bring a lot to the table, in my opinion, at least. They did have some cool uh, collector's rares, not ultra rares, collector's rares. I didn't get one today. Dull self Accord Cutia. So nothing too crazy so far. We've got a Phantom Rage. So this was actually a really cool one because it has Starlight potential. Um, you can get like Zeus in this box. You've got uh, Alpha, the King, or I think it's King of Beasts. Um, just a lot of really cool <clears throat> Drytron and Tri Brigade. And we got it. An Ultra Rare. You know, I will, did we pull this one? I think we pulled this one last time. <laughs> uh, Raiders Knight. Um, it's an ultra rare, you know, I'll take it. All these packs are, of course, random. He, um, for those of you who don't know, of course, these are just kind of randomly pulled from a selection of packs. There's no, like, favoritism here. You get this, you get that. He does make it fair for everyone. So we've got that 2021 10 of Ancient Battles pack. You guys have seen probably countless packs of this get open, countless cases, but it's still always fun. So we're gonna skip past the commons because none of those are too crazy. So all of our commons, we've got our first super, Chaos Summoning Beast, Link Karibo. We've, wait a second, did we not get a secret rare? Chaos Summoning Beast, Tri Brigade Nerval, Fall of Alvaz, okay, <laughs> it's at the back. Oh, these are European packs, so that's probably why they do like that. Okay, that, that was weird. So Tri Brigade Nerval, uh, Fall of Alvaz, and Raviel, Lord of Phantasm. So I was freaking out there for a second, um, and then just going through the pack there with the commons. 
So uh, yeah, um, not, not bad. You know, the Trabrigator Ball, it used to be pretty expensive. Um, not so much anymore. The Raviel is cool. I love that they reprinted the Sacred Beast in that one. It was kind of strange because it already had the secret reprinting from the, um, what was it? The, uh, the Tims. They had the Tim promos with that one. So kind of a, I don't know, interesting choice for a reprint. They just wanted, I guess, there's some more support to them. All right, Final Wrestler, Edge Imp. Oh, sorry, this is Soul Fusion. Really cool set here. Some pretty cool cards. Orcus Brass and a Danger Dogman, or Werewolf, if you want to call him that. Um, I don't know the ratios on these. I don't know if it's guaranteed a super rare. Um, I don't think it is a Soul Fusion, because we did get a rare. Then we had all the commons, of course. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Code of the Duelist. You guys know I'm still... Still relatively new to open up all these packs, but um, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm starting to learn some of them, starting to get more familiar with them all. It's still just taking some time. Speed Roid, got a, was that Light Sworn? Is that that one? Launcher Commander, and we got a Cybers Wizard. So that's actually a really cool looking card there. I will always take really cool looking cards. Um, <clears throat> again, just because I am in this for the fun, I like to open up packs and See some cool cards, see the shiny cardboard. Isn't that what most of us are in for it? Um, so, Dark Neostorm. Um, I don't think you can get Starlights in this one if it's the unlimited one, but we're gonna try and get something stupid. I think we can at least get Secret Rare still. And we got an Ultra Rare. Okay, you know, I'll take it. We got World Gears, a uh, Theological Demergy, Demergy. Something, something crazy. <laughs> you know, I'll happily take an ultra rare. We did get that. Continuing along, we got Fist of the Gadgets. It's actually one of my kind of more favorite sets to open here. It's a very unique one. I believe this has all uh, hollows plus the secret rare, which I think is at the front. So we're gonna move that to the back, I hope. All right, we got a Code Talker, uh, Dino, Dino Light. <laughs> Um, really cool card there, Cyanet Conflict, Fire Formation Tanky, so no, it was, it was on the back. Um, looks like we got a little bit of an error there at the top, that's okay. Fire oh, Formation yeah. Tanky, really cool card there, beautiful secret rare. As you guys know, these kind of are expected with these packs, but regardless, you do still get the, um, the secret rare, so. All right, we've got a Battle Pack 3 Monster League. I think this one has the Shatterfoil rares, I believe. Let's see, um, Frontier Wiseman, I think that's a reprint from an older set, Miracle Wake, Card Trooper, there, yep, there it is, a Shatterfoil, so Koaki Meru War Arms. That's probably one of the cooler Shatterfoil rares that we've gotten from these. Mask of Brutality, that's a good, nice, cool OG reprint there. The uh, Shatterfoil rare cards kind of have like a interesting, like, not greasy, I don't know what you would call it, it's a very interesting texture on there though. Um, we've got Order of Chaos. I believe this is the last 5D set that was printed. Stop it. Get some help. I could be wrong, uh, but still they're really cool in here. You can get some Ghost Rares. I think there are Ultimate Rare potentials in these packs too. We're going to hope that we can at least get an Ultra Rare. Maybe even an Ultimate Rare. I think that one has some crimping on the side. It felt weird. Um, Dark Lawn, Masked Ninja Ibisu, and Ninjutsu Art of Duplication, and No Hollow, Armor Ninjutsu. No Hollow with that one there, just a rare. That is okay, can't win them all. We've got two more packs left, two more packs. Can we get the last two packs? Magic, we've got a Circuit Break. First edition coming at you guys. Come on, believe in the heart of the cards. Come on, let's go. Um, some type of dragon, not even gonna bother. Mermail, Crawler Spine, a Backup Squad, and a Metaphys Ragnarok, which I believe I have pulled <laughs> before. I think it was like two months ago in one of the, uh, the the box openings from him. So that one card seems to like us. I mean, it's kind of fitting that I do have the whole Thor theme, theme going on, Ragnarok, all that, but I don't want the end of the world to come upon us, so. Last set here, Secrets of Eternity. I know it's Flame of Destruction. I think that's the one that has the uh, uh, Infinite Permanence. I don't remember what's in this one, but we're gonna try and pull something cool. 
Last pack magic. Make sure you guys smash that like button. And we're gonna get something cool today. Let's see. Stellar Satellar Knight Capella. Level Lifter and a Void Expansion. Anything after? Nope. X Blossom. Ooh. So this was a little rough of an opening. Um, we're gonna do a quick kind of recap. Um, I just remembered I did forget to, you know, announce the giveaway. So we're gonna go through some of these cards here and give these some of back to you guys. Um, just as a token of my appreciation for you guys watching the content. We're gonna do a quick recap, show you what the giveaway is, and I'll be right back. All right, we've got our cards gathered up. I've got the giveaway. So we're gonna do these three cards here. We got Raiders Knight, Metaphys Ragnarok, because I do already have one of those, and a Kueki Meru Warm. So I'm gonna give these cards back to you guys. The Shadow Four Rares, I know a lot of you have liked those when I've done the giveaway in the past. So do the usual, like the video, drop a comment, let us know what you think of the Astros World UK box, and of course be a subscriber. So going through the pools, unfortunately nothing too crazy. You've got a Rabbi L, trying to get Nerval, um, just, you know, some decent ones, I will say. It wasn't our best. We did get a couple ultra rares from the packs that aren't guaranteed. So, um, not too bad overall. I would say maybe like a, like a six overall, six out of 10. But regardless, it's always fun to open up these subscription boxes from the Astros World UK. Can't thank you enough for all the uh, support you've given me and hopefully I'm returning a little bit of support to you and always appreciate the, the boxes, the craftsmanship, all that stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for some more amazing content. Great greatness to come for sure. But anyways, guys, this is Cardbreaker and I'm out.